In this tutorial, we will see how we can use VLOOKUP function with VBA code. On this sheet, I have data from column A to D, where we have employee ID, employee name, department and salary. Now I want that using this data, I want salary in column I for the given employee IDs that are in column H. So if I use VLOOKUP without VBA code, how we can use that? We will select VLOOKUP function and this VLOOKUP function requires four arguments. First is lookup value. So I'll select H4. Table array. I'll select my table that is in column A to D or I'll select four columns column index here we can see that cell is fourth column in my table array selection so I'll give four range lookup I want exact match for that I'll use false so these are four arguments we can give in VLOOKUP function and click on OK we can see that cell for employee ID 1004 is there in column I in cell I4. I can drag this formula down to get cell of all required employee IDs. So this is how we can use VLOOKUP function manually. But what I want, I want VLOOKUP function to be used by VBA code. So here we can see that we have one command button on this sheet. When I click this, command button then cell is populated for all the given employee IDs so what I have done I have written some VBA code that is using VBA code with VLOOKUP and once I click this command button that code is getting executed so if I go to developer tab click on design mode then I'll double click on this command button and see that this VBA code we can write for using VLOOKUP and once we click command button this code will be executed and we can use VLOOKUP through VBA. So in this example let's understand how we can develop this step by step. So as a first step let me copy this data and paste on a new excel file then let me copy employee id and salary somewhere else let me increase width of these two columns and now i'll go to developer tab click on insert from activex controls select a command button I'll drag a command button here I will double click on this command button and then here we can write VBA code for VLOOKUP so let me close the previous file don't save any changes now here I'll copy few employee IDs paste here and then let me give border to look it better so on this command button I'll write VBA code that will use VLOOKUP to get Sally for these employee IDs so let me double click and write VBA code for that so first of all I'll write VBA code that will use VLOOKUP only for salary of employee ID 1005 so we can see that employee ID is given in H3 and salary we need in I3 so VBA code for that I'll write here is 
worksheets then sheet name is sheet 1 dot cells row number is 3 column is i that means 9 dot value equal to application dot worksheet function dot vlookup bracket start and we know that vlookup requires four arguments so if i continue in this line it will not be visible so let me give one space and underscore then i'll press enter now i can continue with my vba code so first parameter is lookup value for that VBA code I'll write worksheets then sheet 1 that is name of this sheet dot cells formula I want in cell I but lookup value is in H3 that means column 8 so row number is 3 and H that means 8th column dot value comma so this vba code represents first argument of vlookup that is lookup value second argument requires table array we have data in column a to d so for that code is worksheets then sheet 1 that is name of this sheet dot range here in inverted commas I write A to D that is range let me give comma so this becomes second argument that is table array third argument is column index we know that cell is fourth column in table array so I will give four here then false we can represent by 0 and now I'll close bracket press enter let me minimize this VBA window and go to developer tab then I'll click on design mode to come out of design mode now when I click this command button there is some error let me see what is that error so we have not given sheet 1 here click on reset let me click this command button and we can see cell is there for employee id 1005 but this vba code is getting cell only for one employee id however we want for all employee ids so these employee ids we can see are in row 3 to 9 so i will go to vba window and I will use for loop where I can write for i equal to 3 to 9 and here I will say next press enter it will take formatting automatically and wherever we have used row I will replace that with i so here I will replace this 3 by i that is the variable that we have used in loop and here also i so now this loop will execute for 3 to 9 that means row number 3 to 9 and we have passed in the cell argument let me minimize this let me delete this now when i click this button we can see that cell is populated for all the employee ids so let's take a look of VBA code again. So what I have done, I have used for loop and then this is the code that we can use. We can use the entire code in single line for these two lines and as we know that VLOOKUP takes four parameters. So first parameter that is lookup value is 
this VBA code. Second is table array that is this VBA code. Third argument is column index that is fourth in this example and false we can represent by zero. So this is how we can use VLOOKUP function with VBA code for any micro requirement or any automation. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.